let's pray. Father God, thank you for giving this day. Thank you for letting us all gather here and worship together. Um, please help us to focus only on you during the sermon and the midterm week is coming up. Please help us to study ahead and prepare well. And please help uh, those who are sick and hurt. We pray everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello. Uh, for those that don't know me, I am on the second floor. So uh, elementary kids rarely see me. I am Mr. Lee, one of the many Lees teacher in the school. And today, I don't know why, but my title seems very fitting for, um, for this week, Follow the Rules. Um, when I saw the email about the jaywalking incident, like, I don't know, maybe God was really telling me to tell you guys to do this sermon for you. And so um, my title is Follow the Rules, okay? And I would like to share some rules that are out in this world, okay? Some funny rules, okay? First one, in Alabama, you're not allowed to drive blind, um, blindfolded. Okay, so you cannot blindfold yourself and drive around the street. Okay, that's a law. It is a law. Right? It's weird. You were like, what? That is weird. Okay, here's another one. In Switzerland, it is illegal to hike naked. Okay, so if you ever go to Switzerland, make sure you wear your clothes when you go hiking. Okay, all right? So don't do what this guy is doing. All right, next one. In Scotland, it is illegal to ride a cow while you're drunk. Technically, this rule says that you cannot um, ride a, a cow, horse, or any vehicle while drunk, but cow is just included in this law, and they, so you can't do that while you're drunk. All right? Here's another one. Okay, this one, when I read this one, this one was a little bit crazy. Okay? In China, it is illegal to reincarnate without permission. So if you plan, does anybody know what reincarnate means? It's coming back um, to, uh, to life um, in another life. So you're not allowed to come back to life as another um, person or being without permission from the government. Okay? Apparently. Apparently. All right? So you can't do that. Next one. In Georgia, it is illegal for a chicken to cross the road. So if you have a chicken, make sure it doesn't cross the road while you're in Georgia. All right? Okay? Cross, chicken crossing the road. Okay? It is illegal. Okay? So these are some funny laws, some crazy laws that are out there. And you have to follow the rule because it's the law. Okay? But my question is this. Why do they have these laws? Why do you think? Why do we have this law? Most likely, some kind of incident of that sort took place, so they made the law. Okay? If nobody hiked naked in Switzerland, do you think they'll make that law? Who would have think of making that law? Right? It's because some kind of act or behavior took place, that's why they made those laws. The following question that came to mind was this. Then what do these laws tell us? Okay? What does it tell us about the society, about the people, about their culture? Okay? About how they think? All right, and that goes on to on my next point. Then what do God's commandment or God's law tell us about who we are? Okay? I believe God's commandment tells us about um, our nature okay? and what we are inclined to do if we were not stopped by anything. Okay? If there was no inhibition, if there was no one to stop us, and no, there was no guideline, I believe we will do pretty much everything um, that God is telling us not to do. And that's why he has these laws. And he knows us more than, and better than we know ourselves. And that's why I believe God gave us these laws okay, and these commandments. Then, does anybody know what are the God's commandments? How many are there? Ten. Okay. So, there are actually three different formats that the Bible gives us about God's commandment. There's the short version, there's the long, or I will say the medium version, and there's a very, very long version of it. Okay? And I try to relate this to um, 
for elementary kids, you guys not relate to this, but for middle school and um, high school, you guys will relate to this very well, okay? A research paper, okay? Oh, research paper, okay? In a research paper, there are three parts, three main parts. The first part is the title, okay? It grabs you. It tells you what, it might, uh, what the research paper might be about. Then there is the abstract, okay? Most research paper is read through the abstract, and I'm pretty sure a lot of high school did that to get a summary of what the research paper is about. So for the elementary kids, okay, for the elementary student, the abstract is a summary of the research paper that tells us the main point and the important point so that you don't have to read the whole thing if you don't want to and just get the idea and decide if you want to go deeper and learn more about uh, whatever the paper is talking about. And then there's the research paper itself. Some are very short, some are very long. They're always very in-depth, filled with lots of information and lots of detail, okay? And so I thought I could relate, I would like to relate these three parts to the three format that God um, gave us about his commandment. And the first one, the title, I think of the two commandments that Jesus gave. Does anybody know the two commandments that Jesus gave? Yes, Emily, I only see one hand, all right? That's number one, and the other one? Love your neighbor as yourself, that is it, simple, okay? So Jesus gave us, the ti- I consider it the title of the God's commandment, okay? And the abstract is the one that you guys all know very well, the Ten Commandments. Does everybody know where the Ten Commandments is in the Bible? Exodus, um, is it Exodus? Um, and Yeah, it's in Exodus. And it was really interesting um, this morning in my um, homeroom when we did devotion, we do our uh, Bible sharing. And I didn't want to say it in the devotion, but a lot of the student was talking about following the rules, following God's commandment this morning for some particular reason as well. So I thought that was an interesting um, sharing, uh, sharing time we had this morning. And then the research paper, I consider the law of Moses. Out of curiosity, does anybody know how many laws? Make a wild guess. I'll say higher or lower. You could just make a wild guess. Yes, Daniel, back there. 10? Higher. Brandon, I saw your hand. 15? Much higher. Oh, uh, getting close, but let's, I'll just say, there's 613, apparently. 613? That's a lot. Okay, and that, I consider that the research paper is very detailed in the Bible, okay, and there are 613. But today, I would like to talk about the Ten Commandments, okay? I would like to talk about the Ten Commandments. And as the title of my sermon says, follow the rule, I would like you guys to follow these Ten Commandments. But how do you follow them if you don't know them, right? How many can recite the Ten Commandments? Oh, one person. Oh, okay. I am hoping after my sermon today, that everybody will be able to recite the Ten Commandments and know it by heart and try to follow them to the best of their ability. All right? So, we are going to use our finger. Okay? So, this is, we're going to do this together. So, everybody get your hand. Get it warmed up. Okay? Stretch a little bit. Okay? So, we're going to use our finger to remember these Ten Commandments. All right? The first commandment, number one, is you shall have no other God before me. And that is number one. One, there's only one God, and you shall have no other gods before him. Are we all clear? One, no other gods. Don't don't do that. Number two, okay? You shall shall make um, no idols. So use two fingers, okay? And you shall not bow to other gods. Okay, you shall not bow to other gods. Are we good? Okay. So you should not bow to other gods. Don't do that. Okay? Again, these are all rules that you should not do. All right? Do not use the name of the Lord your God in vain. And that is number three. We're going to use our finger like this. Okay? And the three represent God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. And this three um, produces what letter? W. It creates a W. And you want to cover your mouth to not use God's name in vain. Okay? So watch your mouth is what this is saying. Watch your mouth. Are you good? Hi, honey. Come. Okay, don't do that. All right? Number four. Okay, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Okay? Sabbath day is 
to be kept holy, and that is we're going to use two fingers like this, and we're going to go like this, and it creates like a church. And you want to remember Sunday and go to church and keep it holy. Then number five, honor your father and mother. Okay, honor your father and mother. And we're going to do this with number five with one hand this time. And this five, when you do this, in the air, what are, you, or what are you trying to do? High five, okay? You want to high five, okay, your parents whenever possible. When do you high five your friend? Let me ask you that. When do you high five your friend? Uh, you don't high five your friends? Oh, that is a little, that's a little sad. Okay? When do you, but when would, when would you high five your friend? When you're happy, when they did something cool, okay? When you're trying to show a little respect, Okay, so I would like you guys to high five your um, parents, respect them, honor them, okay? Literally, or even in your heart, figuratively, okay? High five them. Are we clear? Are we good? All right. Number six, okay? So love your, honor your father and mother. Number six, anybody know number six? You shall not murder. Very good, you shall not murder. And we're gonna do this for you shall not murder. Number six, okay? Number six, is you, this is you, shall not murder and kill five people, all right? You shall not murder and kill five people, all right? You shall not murder, all right? So don't do that, okay? All right, one no, number seven, do not commit adultery. And number seven is like this. We do with the two hand. A marriage is between husband and wife, there's only two. A marriage is not with five people. Okay, it's only with two, not with five. All right, so do not commit adultery. All right, it's only with two. All right. Okay, there you go. Don't do that. All right. Anyone know number eight? You shall not steal. Okay, you shall not steal. All right. This one is a little bit tricky. So everybody go like this. That's eight. Okay. And this guy, this guy is going to steal one from the other hand. So four, he steals one. Okay, don't steal. Okay, this guy is losing one and he's gaining one and he's stealing it. Are we clear? Don't steal. All right. And number nine. Okay. Oh, he looks happy now, but he won't be happy later. Okay. Anybody know number nine? You shall not lie. Very good. You shall bear no false witness against your neighbor. And this is a little bit, as a math teacher, I, I love this analogy. Okay? Go like this. Okay? Remember, four does not equal to five. Don't say four is equal to five. Five does not equal to four. Don't make that lie. Are we clear? Okay? Four does not equal to five. Or five does not equal to four. Okay? Last one, anybody know? Do not envy, very good, do not covet. Okay, you shall not covet your neighbor's stuff or whatever. Okay, what does the word covet mean? <laughs> you wanting other people's stuff, okay? So that is this. Ten fingers, this is number ten. And you want to grab other people's stuff. Okay, you want to grab other people's stuff. You want to covet other people's stuff. Let's see if we remember the Ten Commandments, okay? With our fingers. Okay, what was number one? Let's use our finger. Number one, very good. Okay, you shall have no other gods before him. Okay, number two, you shall not bow down to other idols. Number three, okay, do not use God's name in vain. Number four, keep the Sabbath holy. Remember to go to church. Number five, high five, honor your uh, parents, father and mother. Number six, do not murder. Number seven, okay? Do not commit adultery. Remember, marriage is between two, not five. Number eight, do not steal. Okay, do not steal. Number nine, four, it's not equal to five, okay? They are not equal to each other. And number 10, do not covet. Do not want to grab other people's stuff. I hope that this will help you remember these uh, commandments and that you could follow them and guard them in your hearts.